Hi everyone, Katie Kemper with Sly Fox Fabrics and we're here for our new stocking fabric reveal today and we have 12 new fabrics plus way more restocks. We have a ton of restocks so um, we are of course doing reveal booty so all you have to do to participate in that is comment on the video. Every comment is an entry and um, the winner receives all of the fabric, the new stocking fabric I'm showing. So 12 free yards of fabric, which is a pretty good haul, I think. Mary Beth is on the other side of the camera there. Hi. <laughs> I'm actually listening to you and there's a lag. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't do that. <laughs> that can get very confusing. It can. So today is a little bit of a solids day. I mean, it is all solids. Everything is solids, but it's good. Tons of different fabric bases. And of course, we have new waffle knit sol solids and um, lots of great restocks. I hope you're in the mood to see some fall fabrics because we have a lot of fall fabrics today. Um, what else? Oh, did you want to talk about Ginger's Sewing Retreat? Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, so Ginger Pejos is a group member of ours and she has a sewing retreat go going on at the end of this month. Where is it at? In Wisconsin. In Wisconsin. Wisconsin's big, but it's pretty big. If you're anywhere in there, you could probably make it. Um, and I'm sketchy on the details. It's what the end of the month. It's like basically, Sly Fox is sponsoring what one 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 person to go. One person to go. She put a post on our on our site so they could search her name, and if they can just search ginger really mm -hmm. probably and um make comment under it to that they want to win because a lot of people commented but they can't go okay so yeah. okay so ginger has there's more than one up isn't there i thought i saw a couple of different posts I don't know. ginger pehos p-a-h-o-s search her name in the group if you're interested in going to her sewing retreat at the end of the month I know she has a lot of openings, um, and we're sponsoring for uh, one person to go. I think we're, what's the value on that, $150? $150 yeah. value. Um, I know there's details in her post on exactly where in Wisconsin the retreat is, and it's over a weekend. Is it three or four days, do you remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. They have a choice. They can go uh, Thursday. Okay, here. Why don't you just read that? Okay. It's called Big Flub Retreat. It's in Augusta, Wisconsin from October 30th to November 3rd. Um, you can arrive any day. She made a mistake on her dates um, for the sewing retreat. She does a sewing retreat every year, right? Mm -hmm. at with at least with once friends a year. of hers, yeah. Um, so post your Sly Fox makes anywhere with the hashtag... Retreat your foxy self. Take a screenshot of the post. Put it in the comments here on this post. The contest will be run through October 12th, and a win winner will be selected on that date. Each post will be one entry, so you can enter as many times as you like. So you'd put different, you'd enter and post on different pages or groups with that hashtag. Um, so basically, that's the deal. It's at bridgecreekcottage.com. And it's 20 minutes away from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Okay, so... It looks like fun. Yeah, it does sound like a lot of fun. So anyways, you just wanted to put a little plug in there for that. Okay, so let's get started with our fabric. So, don't forget to comment to be in, in the running. We have a new solid called Pomegranate. It's double brush poly. And um, it is a red with rusty orange undertones so it's perfect for the season I would say it probably looks a little bit more rusty on the video than in the than it is in real life it's closer to the picture that's showing on the side of the screen and I'm going to show this with a restock that we have on sweater knits so I'm going to set it aside here um, because we'll just come back to it a little bit later Okay, our next solid is a cupro in olive. Ooh, is that pretty? 
We've gotten all here? olive today. <laughs> so uh, Cupro is a spun poly zero jersey knit. Let me angle you down so you can see more of the fabric. We have um, already a couple colors in stock. We did sell out of the cadet blue, which uh, hopefully we'll get back in soon. Um, and it's a beautiful jersey fabric. It's super soft. It is very similar to, say, our Modell jersey or a real heavyweight rayon jersey. However, since it is not rayon, it does not have some of the qualities that rayon has, like growing. This has, this has excellent recovery, and it has beautiful drape, and it's weighty. It's 180 GSM, but it feels very uh, much heavier than that. And it has a beautiful sheen on it. So this is um, Olive Solid Cup Row. If you're interested in seeing Cup Row made up, go to the Cup Row on our site, our website, and look at the dark rows and the rows, and you'll see images of, um, ooh, that's not good. You'll see uh, some, some made up garments in those, in those colors. So you'll get to see the drape and everything. We also have navy heavy ponte. <clears throat> Excuse me. This heavy ponte is our heavy ponte is a nylon. It's a rayon nylon spandex blend. It has a different feel than just regular polyester based um, ponte, and it's heavier, uh, and it's um, it's just thicker and heavier. It's got a, a better or tighter. Uh, it's just tighter. I don't know how to explain it really, but uh, these are great for bottoms. Uh, it's a great bottom weight. It's 310 GSM, the same as our uh, Jet Black Solid Heavy Ponte, and um, it's perfect for slacks and uh, dresses or garments where you want some uh, structure. some structure, some shape and structure to it. So. Uh, it's also good for um, jackets. I made jackets for my kids last year, my teenage kids. Well, some of them aren't teenagers anymore. I keep forgetting. <laughs> Out of um, the Ponte, and it's really heavy. It's it's a real nice, um, real warm fabric. I also made myself a hoodie out of Ponte. That thing is warm. Somebody wants to know if this green is closer to the picture of it or the sweater you're wearing? The picture of it. Okay. Yeah, I would say it It looks like the picture. Most times when we do the video, the picture is the best representation because the camera, the video camera doesn't really pick up um, the colors very well. Yeah, this is very solid. It's not heathery like your sweater at all. Oh no, it's totally solid. Yeah, it's, at, it's totally solid, not, not heathery at all. Um, oh, they want Ponte like this in rust. That would be good. Yeah, I, I've never seen that. I haven't either. <laughs> but if I saw it, I would buy it. I'll keep an eye out. Uh, Heather Gray Cotton Spandex. Cotton Spandex is the same thing as Cotton Lycra. Lycra is a brand name for spandex. So just to clear up any confusion there. And this is Heather Gray. These colors tend to go pretty fast, the, the grays, the two-tones and the heather grays. Um, what can I say about this? It's 95.5, 95 cotton, 5% spandex. It's about eight and a half ounces. And it's perfect for shirts. Um, Pants, oh, like uh, Portlander type pants. Portlanders or leggings for little girls. Or leggings. It for leggings for little yeah, girls. it is good leggings for little girls. Makes great jammies. Jammies, yep, perfect jammies. It gets softer the more you wash it and wear it, that kind of thing. Oh, so we have more nub. <laughs> <laughs> the, you can never have too much nub. You can never have too much nub. Um, Nub is a poly linen blend, and people hear poly linen and they go, ooh, scratchy. It's not scratchy. It's very no, soft. It looks like it would be scratchy. Yeah, it kind of does because it has this uh, really cool, like, nubby, texture. nubby, heathered kind of texture to it, but it's smooth and it's soft, and 
it is the color of the picture. It is, so it looks a little washed out on the camera. But it's this really rich, plummy purple color. Um, this is, we have uh, charcoal and deep red already in this uh, fabric. And there are some garments made up in those listings. Um, so this is the plum. I just love this stuff. I really want to make something out of it. I just have not had time to sew recently because I'm watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> so I always come to the party late. Wasn't there only like 17 seasons so that? You'll be done <laughs> yeah, in no time. I'm almost done. <laughs> I like my drama. Can't help it. Okay, and they have fabulous clothes on there. Love the wardrobes, they're amazing. Okay, here's forest green. It's a nice, deep, rich green. And um, again, it looks a little washed out on the camera. It's, it's a really rich color, like in the picture. And uh, this is perfect for men. Yeah, that's a great like, guy color. Your guy is gonna look great in this. I know my guy would if I could get him to wear something with polyester in it, but he usually won't. Oh yeah, it's nowhere near as pretty on the camera. No, I know. Right now, that's why. That's why we. That's yeah. why we have these pictures over here, <laughs> just in case it doesn't show up well on the camera. Somebody wants to know if it can be left raw edged. I would say yes. Yeah, most knits can be left raw edged, um, but yeah, you could leave this raw edge. It'll curl a little bit. But who cares? So. It might curl like that, but yeah, I mean, I don't see why not. So that's forest green, and then we have this color. This is my favorite color. They all are. No, this really is. I love this brown color. What do you call in that? Chocolate? Carob. Ah. And trust me, it is rich like the picture over here. <laughs> right here. It's beautiful. I love Brown is not a color you see a lot of people wear, no. but it's a really it's a really beautiful color. And it looks good on everybody. I think it does. So my daughter has her coloring is completely different than mine. She has brown hair and brown eyes and olive toned skin. And she looks great with brown. And I think I think brown's my color. One of my colors. And you know, the blonder hair and lighter colored eyes mm -hmm. and pink skin. So brown is kind of kind of universal, I think it is. in my opinion. Okay, so that's the um, that's the carob nub. I'll hold that up so you can see. Great color for great masculine color. That's what you're having. Oh, I'm sorry. Monitoring. <laughs> okay, so now we're into our waffle knit. So we had stocked pumpkin spice and a black waffle knit to see if you guys were interested. And you were, because we sold out. <laughs> we have two yards left of the black and the pumpkin spice is gone. So we added some more colors. So the other night I woke up in the middle of the night and I was dreaming about waffle knit and Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> and so, eating waffle. I don't know how they go together, but <laughs> apparently somehow they do. So this is ivory. Um, and it's brushed. All of our waffle knits are brushed. And this one, you can just see what a dream it is. And you're going to ask me, is it see-through? So here's my answer. It is a little see-through. You can kind of, can you see, you can see the neckline of my shirt right here. I'm just being honest with you folks. You can see through it a little bit. And on our um, picture here, the mannequin that the fabric is put on has scroll writing on it in black, and you can kind of see it through the sweater knit. But you have it like pulled tight on there. I think most well, people don't wear their sweaters. Yeah, I have it. I have it wrapped. I mean, it's generally if you if you were going to wear this looser, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be as transparent as if you were going to pull it tight. Yeah. However, I don't want you to be disappointed when you get it and go well. Ugh, I can see through that. Yes, you can. So I, what I would recommend is, um, if you're going to use it for a sweater, wear underwear. I would wear a cami <laughs> under it. I think this would be really cute in a La Bella Donna with a white cami yeah, under it. Be real cute. Um, or you could line it. I have some ivory brush sweater knit that I lined with white double brush poly, 
and it's like it's, it's my super warm favorite isn't it? sweater and it's super warm you should show that with that or you could double it if you double it it'd be soft you would have the brush on the inside and the outside you should show with that french terry i have over there it's no because that's coming out next week oh it's not here yet. no i'll show them that next week. oh you guys wait till next week so that's the ivory. And we also got in navy. Oh, and these match their corresponding solid brush polys. I didn't show the ivory with that, but um, this is navy. It's not see-through or transparent or whatever. It's just, it's just not. <laughs> uh, this um, is dark, like the picture. It's showing up, I think, a little bit lighter. I love it with my jeans. Let me see if I have some navy. I don't think I have navy blue. Did you tell them it gets even softer after it gets washed? No, Mary Beth says it gets softer after it gets washed. Did you wash them? No. I thought all of it did. In general, the, the brush stuff gets really soft after it gets washed. You don't need to cut it. They, they can gonna, imagine. I was just going to fold it up. No, that's okay. It's okay. You guys, you guys know what navy looks like. So this is the navy, and um, this next one. This is mustard gold. Now this is exactly the color of our mustard gold brush poly and the mustard gold French terry that hasn't been released yet. And by the way, um, on the French terries, those uh, the ones that we sold in the pre-order are going to be live as soon as we cut the next round, which will be by tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll be loading that inventory in tomorrow. And here's the mustard gold brush poly. Now this one, this color is really tough. I've gone round and around and around trying to get the images to look correct, to look like the right representation of the color online. And, um, it's been tough. The mannequin picture to me looks a tiny bit oranger than it really looks in person. Yes, but it's a, it's a little darker than on you live here, but not as dark as there. Yeah, it's it's kind of tough. It's hard. It's golden roddy. It's golden roddy. It's it's mustard gold. It is it's mustard gold. That's my PSA. Olive. This matches also the olive brush poly, which I stuck in my pile over here. There it is. I love this. Mary Beth said the other day when I was putting everything in inventory, taking pictures and stuff, of course there's a match on the camera. <laughs> she said, you should make something for the reveal out of the waffle knits. I went, yeah, I should. And then I didn't. But I was trying to decide what color would I make. And this one was this one, the olive and the navy, and then this next one coming up. They were all major contenders. They want to know if these would be nice in a men's raglan t-shirt. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. As a matter of fact, I meant to mention that because that's what I was thinking about when I was putting them in inventory. I was going, oh, yeah, these would be a great men's fabric. A raglan would be perfect. This is um, classic mauve because it matches classic mauve. And Classic Mauve is back in stock. It was out of stock for a little while. It's just a hair lighter. Let's start now. Do I not have any more? Oh, it's just a hair lighter than, um, let me get a chance. I want to see those two together. Okay. Then this. Oh yeah, they look really nice together. Mm -hmm. They're really pretty together. Um, so this reminds me of mauve latte. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it is. I didn't. I didn't compare it, but it's, it's definitely a mauve color. It's really pretty. This is the one I decided I was going to make something out of, but then I never made anything, <laughs> so I got too tired. 
Okay, so these two, and I would show this with the gold too because they look really, or the mustard, they so look really pretty together. Here's the must, mustard gold and here's the olive. Somebody requested to see these together. They look great. They look great together. And then Mary Beth wants me to show you the navy. I can't, like my high school colors, I guess. <laughs> navy and gold together. But wait, there's more. So we did restock the pumpkin spice. If you didn't get in on it, um, oops. then it's back in stock. And I want to show you this with the pomegranate fresh poly because they look fantastic together. I need to make sure I go add this in on the listing. So these are beautiful together. And I have one more to show you with this pomegranate. Going totally out of order, I know I am, but that's okay. So we had this last year, and we're restocking it this year because we love it so much. It's brushed melange sweater knit. It's called pomegranate. Now this one, I know for a fact, you wash it and it puffs up. So this is a restock, and look at how beautiful these look together. I just love them. So they're both called pomegranate. One's brush poly and one is the um, sweater knit. So these all, these all kind of match. All three of them. Look all three of them. Okay. They just look like fall. So we restocked some um, fall colored brushed poly, solid brush poly that was getting low. Um, teal blue, which looks way more blue on the camera than it is, than it actually is. Um, where are we at? Yeah, okay. Classic mauve. Olive. Dark Raisin, Almond, that was out for a little while, I think. So those are restocked. A couple other fabrics that are um, great fall fabrics in fall colors. Uh, Peacock Blue Ponte, we had this last year, and we have it again. This is the regular Ponte, and by regular, I mean it's not the heavy ponte, it's the polyester ponte. Ooh, what do you think about these two? I think they match. These two match. This is teal blue brush poly and peacock blue um, heavy ponte, or sorry, ponte. Ponte's great for everything heavy ponte's great for. So we have the peacock blue, we have mocha. No, this is Cafe Ole. It's not Mocha. I put the wrong name in there. Yep, this is called Cafe Ole. And then we have French Roast. Aha, that one's pretty. That makes me want a cup of coffee. Yes, it's a nice dark brown, which by the way, can I have that brown nub back? I want to show these two together. Or I'm sorry, the carob. So, Ooh, that looks yummy. Here's your brown ponte and your carob, or French roast with your carob nub. I know nub is a really strange, strange word. And then also with your cafe au lait. Very pretty together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they want to know what Target made your sweater out of. 
And they want to know what you made your sweater. This like. is Kohl's. This is a Kohl's, oh, Kohl's. sweater. Yeah, and yeah. it's um, it's a Hachi. So Hachi is sweater knit. So And actually, the sign above this called it Hachi. It did? So they, they didn't even call it sweater knit. They called it Hachi. So just so you know, when you... If you're in Kohl's or any other department store and you look at the fabric or it, it has a descriptor and it says Hachi, it's just sweater knit. It's just the, the name for it. So Cognac, Double Brush Poly, uh, this restocked at the same time as our Cognac Brushed Sweater Knit. This is a Cognac Melange. Similar, you know, it's the same fabric base, different colorways, the pomegranate I just showed you. And so yummy. these two are beautiful together, so so they match cognac and cognac. And then another fabric that goes great with the cognac that's just restocked is the um, ribbed sweater knit with the Lurex, and this is the spiced rum. And that also goes great with cognac. So we, we were able to restock the spiced rum in the ribbed sweater knit, the pink champagne, so these have a little bit of sparkle in them because they have lurex which is like a silver thread and they're um, feathered. They have they have like gray or a darker tone in them, so they're not solid solid, they're kind of heathered. Really cute. This matches my earrings maybe. Somebody wants to know what the difference is between Hachi and normal sweater knit. Hachi is sweater knit, is. so they're the same thing. They're, Hachi is, a, is it, the term Hachi is interchangeable with the term sweater knit. So if you see somebody selling brushed Hachi, it's brushed sweater knit. Or just plain Hachi is sweater knit. It's, they're the exact same thing. So um, and this is Starry Night in the ribbed sweater knit with the little with the sparkles. So all the coordinates are online for these fabrics. Did you need this? Um, mm -mm. That's you thought you did. It's okay. new. I mean, for that's for next week. And next week. Yep. I think we have twelve fabrics next week. I want to say. We're cool. talking next week. So um, so we were all solid today. So you have coordinates for this champagne on the site, don't yeah, you? Yeah, there's coordinates on the site okay, for that. No. Uh, I don't recall what they are off the top of my head. I think light pink was one of them for the champagne ribbon. Knit. But if you go to the website and you go to the fabric listing and open it up, um, instead of doing the quick thing, but open up the, the detailed and flip through the pictures, it has all the coordinates on there. Did you see the girl who made all of these, all the different colors into a sleeveless like turtleneck? Mm -hmm. I, it's like I a mock I turtleneck. I could think of her name. She, she's mm -hmm. adorable in yeah. every one of them. Those were, I thought they was really cute. Really, 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 really cute. cute. Somebody made um like a mock sleeveless turtleneck out of all the, the ribbed sweater knits. Really cute. Uh, somewhere in the group page, floating around in there. I think that was it. That's it for today. Does anybody have any more questions? I'm looking. I just noticed somebody from Ohio in here saying the weather needs to cool off for all these gorgeous fabrics. Don't worry. Tomorrow it's supposed yeah. to be 40. I'm breaking my coat out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed, Mary Beth, it's supposed to be 40. It's supposed to be 60. It's supposed to be 40 at night. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> Nope, everybody wants all of them. Okay, so um, I'm going to make everything live. All the, the restocks are live already, um, but I'll go right now and make the, the new stuff live. And I'll really do it this time. Last week I lost my mind, started uploading the video on YouTube, and just went, oh my gosh, 10 minutes later. I didn't put the fabrics up, so I'm going to do that right this second. And thanks for joining us today, and um, we'll see you next week. Same time, same place.